Over the weekend then, we had a bit of a problem with the Deep Space Rock 7. Entirely my fault for how I flew it and where I flew it. And it failed safe. And I hadn't waited for GPS. I'd actually snicked one of the wires putting it back together after opening it up to have a look at it. So entirely my fault. Um, no beeper. No SD card in my goggles, which is a massive mistake. And a few people have reminded me over the weekend that what I did was, you know, great but also there's an easier way of doing it which i completely forgot about now there's a script called the elrs lost model finder so what we're going to do first of all is we're going to download it so we go to this web page here in the top right now i will copy this web page and put it on the screen in case you can't see it go to code and you want to download zip once you've downloaded the zip you're going to then need to extract it PC is really slow, so you will have to forgive me. So we'll just drag this onto our desktop. And we've got the script there. So what we're going to do now is we're going to turn on our Edge TX controller. Now it doesn't matter which one you're using. I'm using the TX15 because it's the nicest one camera, but it literally can use any. So let me just plug it in and I'll show you what to do next. So once you've plugged it in, you then need to select USB storage. So you can do that by touching the screen or using the scroll wheel. Now we're in USB mode. It's going to pop up on the PC as we can see there. And if we just go back to the extracted file that we've got here, go to scripts, tools, and grab these two. Now you don't have to do it this way. You could just copy it over, but I prefer to do it this way. And we're going to put it in exactly the same one. So scripts tools this is on the actual controller itself i'm going to hit paste and that's it it's done it's installed so if we now just unplug this a second and make sure it's back on camera for you to see and go into system we've got elrs finder there now at the minute i'm just trying to see if i've got a model about i don't so let's head out to the field and i'll show you exactly how this works in the field because this is brilliant so just very quickly, this is how it looks on a non-color screen. So we've got ELRS Finder, and this bar will go up the closer you get, so as you turn around, etc. But we'll go and have a look in the field at an actual example with a drone. So let's freaking go. So we've installed the ELRS Finder Lua script. Now what we need to do is test it. Now it's telling us we've got a fairly good signal, but we're not quite facing it. So if we turn around, oh, so the signal went down then, and it's going down this way. So if we turn this way, there we go, the signal's going up. Right, that's given us a really good indication. So we don't need to worry about whether we know what the numbers and all that mean. All you need to worry about is how fast it's beeping, the faster the better, and how strong the signal strength is. Again, the, the, the better, the higher the better. Now, it does say here, lower TX power as you get closer. I've set mine to 10 milliwatt because I'm fairly close to it. But uh, obviously, if you've got it set to one watt and you're trying to find it in an open space, you are going to struggle. So lower it as low as possible to get a signal, and then from there, go for it. And then keep lowering it as you get closer, if you're still struggling to find it. But now all we're going to need to do is just walk forwards. You can see it's got even stronger now. So it's beeping away even more and we're on maximum. Again, we don't need to worry about the values or anything because if we just look under here, there is our lost, crashed drone. Now, I'm gonna leave a link to the ELRS finder in the description uh, to the Hello Radio. Hello. Thank you very much. And uh, also to the Avion Nexa and all the other drones and stuff that we've used in this video. If you've got any questions whatsoever, please do leave them in the description down below. But until next time, peace out. One thing I do just need to add to this, and it, it makes perfect sense, but sometimes, especially in the heat at the moment, common sense is sometimes by the wayside. Your battery does still need to be plugged in and your drone does still need to be powered. Now I was lucky, it took about two hours to find the Deep Space Rock 7 and it had a lithium iron pack in it and it was still about 3.78 volts by the time we'd found it. 
So just bear that in mind, if your battery ejects or your battery dies, you are not going to be able to use this method. So it is still best to have an external beeper. Again, I'll, I'll leave a link in the description down below to the ones we reviewed last year. Um, or at the very minimum, an SD card in your goggles so you can at least review it. Because if I'd have had an SD card, I could see exactly where it landed. It was right next to the CCTV camera and I would have been able to go straight to it and save myself two hours and uh, absolutely shattered and broken legs. Anyway, this is really the end this time. So if you've got any questions whatsoever, please leave them in the comments down below. Hello, radio. Hello. Peace out, everybody. <laughs>